The STM32 Blue Pill is a small ARM Cortex M3 based development board. With 64 kilobytes of flash and 20 kilobytes of SRAM and clockable up to 72 megahertz, this board is great for the programmer who wants to take their embedded knowledge to the next level. In this video, we'll be doing a blink LED example on the blue pill in C without using the STM32 Cube IDE. I personally am not a fan of large IDEs like the STM32 Cube IDE, so today we'll be completely on the command line. Leave a comment and let me know your thoughts on the STM Cube IDE and hit subscribe for more programming videos like this one. To get started, you'll only need two things. One, the STM32 blue pill with the SWD or serial wire debugging port soldered and the ST-Link V2 STM programmer and debugger. While the blue pill does have a USB header, for some reason it comes shipped without a USB bootloader flashed onto the chip. So we'll have to do our initial flash over serial wire debugging using the ST-Link. To do this, wire the blue pill to the ST-Link like so. One, wire ground on the pill to ground on the ST-Link. Step two, wire 3.3 volts on the pill to 3.3 volts on the ST-Link. Step three, wire the data IO on the pill to the serial wire debug IO on the ST-Link. Finally, wire the data clock on the pill to the serial wire debugger clock on the ST-Link. Now, before we go start plugging things in, we need to make sure we have the tools installed for flashing and reading the board on our computer. So we need to run sudo apt install ST-Link tech tools to get those tools installed. All right, so let's write some code. We could spend time in this tutorial hand cranking out the library to control the peripherals in the blue pill, do all of the manual bit for bit banging on all the different buses, but luckily that's already been done for us. Lib OpenCM3 for Cortex M3 is a project to provide an API for the peripherals on standard implementations of the Cortex M3 processor. Luckily for us, they've created an API for the blue pill that we're going to use today. We'll start by cloning their lib OpenCM3 template repo that comes with an example project to get us started. Don't forget to update your git submodules to pull in the core library. Next, we'll need to compile the Cortex M3 code by running make in the lib OpenCM3 directory. Make sure you have the ARM build chain installed before doing this. Now we can open up the example project and make changes so that it targets our blue pill. Step one, we're going to actually delete a lot of the code here. I don't care about really any of this. I wanna get rid of the shared directory. I wanna delete these two files here. I wanna change the project name to blink LED. I'm also gonna delete the my common code repo as I really uh, just don't care about it. We're gonna remove this here. Uh, finally, we wanna make sure we change our target board to not the F407, but the F103C8. So that gets our project ready to roll. Our, it will now compile for the blue pill. We want to go into our actual project.c file here. That's the you know target of the code we want to use. We're going to get rid of all of this stuff just so that we have only a main file. And this should build and produce a blink led.bin. Now we could in theory flash this code directly to the chip, but it wouldn't do anything. So now we need to actually add the code that will make the led blink. To get started, we'll include the reset clock control and GPIO libraries from Open Cortex M3. These libraries provide the interface for us to program with. Next, we'll enable the reset and clock control on port C, which is the GPIO bus that our LED pin is tied to. Doing this is required for doing GPIO. Next, we'll set pin 13, our LED, to be a push-pull I.O. pin toggleable up to 2 MHz. Next, we'll create the infinite loop that will contain the main logic of our program. In that loop, we'll put another loop that does nothing for a preset amount of time to create an observable delay between LED blinks. Finally, we'll toggle the output pin to make the LED turn either on or off. Now we type make again and our code compiles. Look at that. Now we have to figure out how do we flash this code to the STM32. To flash the device, it's actually pretty simple. To do this, we'll start by making sure that our OS sees our ST-Link. We'll do this by typing ls slash dev in grep for ST, looking to see if a sim link was made for the device. We can also run various ST info commands, like ST info tac tac version, or ST info tac tac probe to make sure that our computer sees a sane ST programmer. Now to flash the device, we'll run ST flash tac tac reset to the right command, and we'll use the blink LED dot bin at address 8000000, and there we go. The device is written and our flash is verified. 
you should see your STM32 blue pill blinking its LED at about a one second interval. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video or if you learned something, do me a favor, hit like, hit subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Take care.